You know what? I may not get it, but I do read it. I think my entire bill is, is anywhere from... So, you know, I understand there's a fuel consumption issue. As well. And you know what? That looks nice. You know, I definitely would not build it to, to, to build it, build it, you know, to create a swing set or anything like that. Okay, I'm just going to turn off my fan here. More of a facade than anything. Actually, I don't know why I would. And well, hello there, everybody. I hope you're having a good day. I'm having a pretty good day myself. It's beautiful outside. It is starting to get hot. And a couple of things I want to talk to you about today. Okay, so let's start this up. So the first thing I want to talk about is my my van, obviously. <laughs> I always talk about my van. Um, and how one of the questions that I see constantly happening or popping up in the forums whenever I post my build or you know when I show people hey here's, here's what I did is I, I often get I don't know if they're trolling me because I know I've seen it before or I've seen them ask the question or if they're just really just uh, genuinely curious I think you know what I think a lot of times people are genuinely curious when they ask me um, this question about my build and oh I guess I should tell you what the question is the question was well how heavy is your build how heavy is this because what happens is they see all this wood here like you know I've got the ceiling I've got the my little kitchenette right you've seen that I've got my bed system and I've got the sides and all that stuff and I wanted to tell you about uh, the weight of it rather the question that they ask is how heavy is it and I wanted to sort of put out a video and tell you guys that okay well let's break it down a bit okay and I think what happens is when people see the ceiling they're thinking oh that thing must be super heavy because right that right there I think some ceilings are upwards to 80 50 to 80 pounds you know with the tongue and groove and stuff well if you guys I've been around long enough if you've watched a lot of my videos you'll realize that it's not very heavy you know a lot of you guys already know that there's a video that I made on how I put together my roof and my roof is actually more of a facade than anything there there is very little R value associated with it I think there's more aesthetic value than there is R value and just to give you an idea of how thin it is how wafer thin it is that's that's what it is. It's actually really really thin. It's it's like wafer thin. So so you could see there that it's actually not thick at all. I think the entire roof system or roof facade is about five pounds, if that. So right there, it's already going to dispel that it's heavy. So the roof isn't heavy at all. Okay, so that's one thing. Okay, I'm just going to turn off my fan here. Oops, there we go. Wow, the quietness, right? Okay, the other thing is when it comes to uh, this van, um, I did take out the seats, and the seats alone, I'm guessing what, each seat is about 75 pounds. So I took out both seats, uh, the passenger seats. So that's at least 150 pounds. And then the main seat here is probably another 100 pounds. So that's like 250 pounds off my van right now. Okay, that's 250 pounds. Now, now, what I did do was I did keep one of the smaller seats at the back, you know, just in case I, I, you know, I wanted to bring a third person. Actually, I don't know why I would, but I do have the two front seats. So it's, like this van really is made for the solo travel traveler, you know, namely me. Okay, but I think every so often I'd probably get someone traveling with me uh, for whatever reason, right? And I do have the front seat. You know, now back there, uh, I use that for the times that I'm doing my computing. You know, it's a much more comfortable seat because I have one of those lap desks. And the lap desk allows me to put my laptop on it. And then I could do some computing for a few hours without cramping up my leg or anything like that. So I'm going to talk about the rest of, of the build. For example, the, the kitchenette. Um, my entire build is made from found free materials. Uh, there were a few things that I that I ended up buying because I didn't want to skimp on it. For example, the electrical system. You know, obviously the diesel heater. 
anything kind of electrical I didn't want to buy used I thought it was I felt it was important that it should be it should be brand new so so right behind me is my my kitchenette and there is a video about my kitchenette somewhere in my in the links in my list of videos on my playlist um, if I can find it I'll definitely you know put it up in the link somewhere up at the top and uh, the kitchenette is made from pallet wood and what's interesting about the pallet wood that I have is I've used uh, what's called kiln dried pallet wood and what that means is you know first of all uh, it's food safe in other words you know you want you want to make sure that it's not chemically treated anytime you work with with pallets because chemicals are bad right so the pallet that I have is kiln dried so it's very light very lightweight now I know what you're thinking now they're thinking well if it's very lightweight and it's kiln dried it must be very brittle you know you you, you would be correct it is it does feel kind of brittle but it's strong enough for what I needed to do in here you know I definitely would not build it to to, to build it build it you know to create a swing set or anything like that because you know it just wouldn't be able to stand up to it uh, the other thing too is uh, when it comes to the rest of uh, uh, the wood here um, uh, I do have a diesel heater which I think tends to dry out the entire van so I have zero mold problems so far with this van because I also make sure that I air it out. You know, in the winter time, you know, I used to use a, a buddy heater and what that does is it created a lot of condensation and a diesel heater is so much, so much better and I really suggest it. Okay, so fine, we're digressing a bit. So we're, we're still talking about the weight of my van, right? Yeah, we are. So, so far, so the roof is about five or 10 pounds, if that. The kitchenette doesn't use a lot of wood, okay? It's it's really, it's, a lot of it is super lightweight. It's super lightweight plywood. I would guess, and this is being very generous, that whole thing weighs about 40 pounds or 35 pounds. So at this point, we're at, we're at, we're at around 55 pounds. But then you're thinking, well, what about all this other wood, James? All that other stuff? Well, I'm glad you asked. Back here, everything else back behind me was made from one plywood piece like an eight by four. So at that point, we're kind of back to where I removed the seats, right? So each seat, uh, the passenger seat is about hundred, about uh, 75 pounds, that's 150 pounds. And then we have the back seat, which is another, let's say 100 pounds, that's 250 pounds. So the build alone is about 250 pounds. And so the, the question that get, gets asked is, you know, how heavy is your build? Well. I always say it's sort of like carrying two passengers with me. So, you know, I understand there's a fuel consumption issue as well. You know, it does take up more fuel the heavier your build. But, you know, you know, it doesn't matter how heavy it is for me at this time. I'm more interested in the experience. I'm more interested in being able to live out of my van, you know, when I have to. You know, when I'm when I'm traveling, um, especially, you know, anywhere or, you know, forget it, even forget about traveling, even when I'm at work right now I'm on my break it's nice to have a comfortable place that feels good to be in and you know what that looks nice and and it's okay and it's okay if that's not your thing I but the issue for me is oh you know what I forgot to tell you why I'm doing this video because there was actually some guy at reddit that was really upset at me for building out this van <laughs> can you believe that they're upset at me for building out a heavy van I don't get it you know what? I may not get it, but I do read it. I'll tell you something. I can always be guaranteed that something unusual will happen at Reddit whenever I post something about my van. You know, by now you may be wondering, you know, what, you know, why, what, what is that clicking sound that, that I hear every time he, he changes scene? It's, it's actually this, this clicker here. I finally found it, by the way. And there's a previous episode where I'm talking about this clicker and I couldn't find it and then I finally found it and now I'm just like clicking away. See that? I clicked away like I'm gonna click away right now. I'm not sure if you can hear it clicking but I, it, it's, it's actually useful. I don't have to like reach over like this kind of thing. I can just click. Anyway, here's me trying to stay on topic. Okay, so we talked about the weight of the van. So it's about 300 pounds in total. 300 pounds. I'd say about, I think my entire bill is, is anywhere from 350 
to 400 pounds. I mean, everything that's loaded up and everything, like everything, everything happening. And uh, I know the load capacity for this van is about a thousand pounds, I believe. I'll need to look it up, but I know I am well within it. Um, you know, obviously, could it be lighter? Obviously, it can be a lot lighter. You know, I, I, I can sort of like remove some stuff and save some some fuel fuel money on that but it wouldn't be the same and really this van isn't about saving money it's about saving my mental health right it's about this is my fortress of solitude and really it's it's no one's it's no one's business you know you know what i do or you know it's no one's business what you do with your van and how you want to go about it i, I do find it a little odd that someone would get upset that my van is so heavy like like you know we don't have to agree and and this is something that i'm learning about the whole social media thing and just just people in general and and how you know it's okay to be completely different and not be the same as somebody else that doesn't mean you don't you know you don't have to like them that doesn't mean that you know you get upset but unfortunately people do and that's how they are and that's just how it's gonna work for them, you know. And and I'm fine if you know they don't they don't like any of my stuff. I'm fine if that's that's their business, right? But you know, one doesn't have to get so upset, right? Right? You know, that makes sense. So the more I think about it, you know, now that I'm doing this sort of analysis of the weight of my van, I would say. It is about 350 to 400 pounds. Okay, I think I'm done. Uh, that's so much, that's about the video. That's so much as I'm going to say about it right now. Um, you know, thanks a lot, everybody, for you know dropping by, saying hello, and sort of watching my, my van life sort of unfold <laughs> before your eyes. Um, you know, at, at this point, you know, you mostly you already know my goals. I mention it almost in every video, and you know, is is my dream to be able to head out west, out in Alberta, out in Vancouver, and just really, you know, travel it out and get a good sense of what's going on. You know, if you like this video, please like it. If you think, if you find any of this stuff interesting, please subscribe and you know, hit that notification button, where you know it gives you this little alert that hey. James posted something. Silver Cabin posted something. And my channel is growing. Like, I'm like so surprised. I mean, I was completely happy with you know, when I hit a thousand subscribers. And, you know, guys, we're, we're, we're going to surpass that. I think by the end of this year, I think we'll probably hit like 2,000 subscribers. 2,000 subscribers. Like, that's, that's a huge deal. I, for me. That's a huge deal for me. And... For others, maybe not so much. I, f I find it interesting that people actually find this interesting. And, however, I do find a lot of things interesting on YouTube that, that I subscribe to. Okay, guys. You know, it's always hard for me. It's always difficult for me to like to say goodbye. But I'm going to say it right now. I'm going to say goodbye and have a great day. And remember, you're awesome. I... You're, you're awesome. Remind yourself of that. You know, what you say to yourself on a daily basis is ex incredibly important. You know, and, and again, it doesn't even have to be the word awesome because that might be completely overused for you or for, or, or for some other people. It could be marvelous, remarkable. You know, whatever word you want to use to describe who you are, always remind yourself. You've gotten this far, you can keep going. And that's something, that's something I remind myself on a daily basis. And uh, thanks very much, guys. And you guys have a wonderful day and have a wonderful life.